Hi there smart monks and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters. And I post videos weekly, so turn on the notification button and subscribe to the channel if you want to know when I post any new videos. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you all you need to know when it comes to surface area and volume of cubes. I'm going to be teaching you what surface area and volume actually is and then what the formulas are to calculate this for a cube and then also do various calculations so you can see how you can apply and answer questions on surface area and volume. Remember in the description box below you will find worksheets that you can use to practice with memorandums to see if you actually got the questions correct and that will help you gauge how well you are doing. If you don't see the link in the description below just yet Please give me some time to add it there. I am still building that platform. You can keep up to date with the information on those in my, um, on my YouTube channel on the community chat group. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into this video. So this is our lesson on surface area and volume of cubes and it falls under the topic of measurement. As always, I like to start by making sure you understand the terminology that will be used in this lesson. So first, let's look at what is surface area. So if I were to take a cube and calculate the area of each surface of that cube and add it all together, that answer would give me the total surface area of that specific cube. So that is essentially what surface area means. So surface area of this cube, you'll see there are one, two, three, but at the bottom and on the left and at the back is also three. So this will have six surfaces. So if we were to calculate the surface area of a cube, we would then calculate the area of six surfaces. Right, and when we're calculating area, we always use units squared. So if the lengths are given to you in centimeters and you calculate the surface area, then your answer will have an answer where it would be um, a specific value, millimeters squared or centimeters squared, whatever the question's units were. Okay, if we talk about volume now, volume is not just the surfaces, volume is the entire space inside a three-dimensional shape so if i were to show you here this is the yellow is literally everything inside this shape so surface area we're just calculating the area of all the surfaces and adding and adding them together where the volume is interested in all the space that's inside a three-dimensional shape okay so that's essentially the concepts that you must understand so let's look at the formulas okay so for a cube, if you want to calculate the surface area, we essentially are going to calculate the area of one square. So if you think of a cube, if you think of a die, um, like a dice that you throw with numbers on, you'll see that all the surfaces are the same, right? It's all squares and the squares lengths are obviously, all the squares of the cube is exactly the same. So when you're calculating the surface area, you literally just have to calculate the, the area of one of the squares which is side multiplied by side, which is also side squared. And because I have six surfaces, I'll take that and multiply it by six. Right, if I had volume now, so I'm calculating the entire space on the inside, it would literally be side times side times side, which could also be written as side to the power of three. So when you're calculating these values, it's just easier for you to make sure you understand the formula and know the formula because then you just substitute in the values that's actually given to you in the question. Okay, so let's take an example. So let's say that this cube had one side of 120 centimeters. And we know because this is a cube, all of the sides are going to be 120 centimeters. So in order to calculate the surface area, we're literally just going to add this side in by x. Um, sorry, by S, so I have 6 multiplied by 120 and I squared, and that will give me 86,400 centimeters squared. Note that we're working with surface area, that's why our units are squared. Now, if we were to calculate the volume of this cube, it would look as follows. 
you'd say 120 to the power of 3 and that will give us 1,728,000 centimeters cubed. Again, because this is volume, we use units cubed. So this answer is essentially the area of all the surfaces added together. And this answer is essentially all the space that is taken up within this cube. Okay, now let's look at more examples. A cube has a side length of 15 millimeters. Calculate the surface area and volume of this cube. Okay, so whenever we are being asked surface area and volume, we will always start with the formula first. So for surface area, we know it's 6 multiplied by um, side to the power of 2. So you have got 6 multiplied by 15 to the power of 2 is 1,350 millimeters squared. Okay, so we're just taking the formula, we're substituting the side in, squaring it and gives us the answer. And we must remember that the units is always um, units squared when working with surface area. Now let's do the volume for this cube. So again, we start off with a formula, it's side to the power of 3, and in this case, the side's length is 15. So I just substitute that in, 15 cubed will give me 3,375 millimeters cubed. Right, let's look at the next example. The surface area of a cube is 31,974 centimeters squared. Calculate the side length of the cube. So in this question, instead of giving you the side and asking you to calculate the surface area, they are giving you the surface area and asking you to work back. So this is where you will apply your equations um, rules. Okay. So again, we start off always, as always, with our formula. So surface area is equal to 6 multiplied by side to the power of 2. Now let's substitute what we know and what we have. So here I have the surface area, which is 31974, equals to 6 times side to the power of 2. Now, I want to get the S alone, so I'm going to divide both sides by 6, and this will give me 31974 divided by 6 gives me S to the power of 2. But now remember, we are looking for S and not S to the power of 2, so we need to square root that so we can actually find S. This is actually applying our equation properties. So if you have trouble understanding this, please go to that uh, video of mine on equations and it will help you understand what is actually happening when working back. Okay, so in this case, we have the square root of 5,329. And so the length of our side for this question is 73 centimeters. So take note here, this is only centimeters. Why? Because they're asking us for the length of the side. We've calculated the side length. We were given the surface area, and that's why the units were squared. But when we're actually calculating the side, it's actually just plain units. Okay, let's look at another example. The volume of a cube is 21,952 centimeters cubed. Calculate the side length of the cube. So again, we start with our formula. Right, and now we have to work back because remember they've given us the volume now. So the volume is 21,952. But now we are looking just for S. So we then cube root both sides, right? And that will then give us S is equal to 28 centimeters. So if I were to calculate the volume of a, 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 a cube that had a side of 28 centimeters, then this would be the volume. Okay. Now, your turn. So I would like you to pause this video now and attempt these three questions. And then so that we can see that if you understand what was actually taught here. And once you are done, you can unpause the video and I'll work through the answers with you. And you can see how well you did. So pause the video now. Okay, so let's work through the answers and let's see if you got it right. Remember, don't be discouraged if you didn't. The whole idea is to find out where you're making your mistakes so when it comes to tests and exams, you don't repeat those mistakes. So for the first question, you were supposed to get 1,944 meters squared for the surface area where your side is 18. And then for the volume, you would have gotten 5,832 meters cubed. The important thing is that you use the correct formula. 
So when you're doing surface area, you use six times side to the power of two. And when you use volume, you use side to the power of three. And then you also make sure that you substitute the correct value by the side. And then you also check that your answers has the correct units. Okay, now let's do the questions where you have to work backward. Okay, so here for the surface area they've given us, so we substituted it in, divided it by six, then square rooted the answer, and you should have got 102 centimeters for question two. So for the last question, the volume of the cube is 91,125, and we have to calculate the length. So there we have volume is equal s to the power of three. If we cube root it, we end up with 45 centimeters. All right, and that is our lesson on calculating the surface area and volume of a cube. All right, so there's that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please add it in the comment section below. Also, if you have any recommendations for future videos, you can also add it in the comment section below. All right, and remember, you have access to worksheets in the description box below. And yeah, hopefully you found this video helpful and that I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Goodbye.